kuri ndoza mu maka ngati baba teka teka burungi umuntu ubwo bateka teka umuntu atasora kufa nuko ba mungaro well a very good morning another weekend is finally here how are you feeling today thank you for following the buzz updates every single day my name is melad milo aka fula bring it to you the latest news happening in the country subscribe to the buzz ug in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications <music> Now, Jeno Elitumine's body has finally arrived in the country from Aga Khan Hospital in the Plus 254 Kenya, where he died of lung cancer, according to the official communication by government. Jeno Elitumine died on Thursday this week after serving in government and UPDF for very many years. His body was welcomed last evening by family and UPDF officials at Entebbe Airport. We expect his remains to be buried very soon and according to the communications from UPDF, he will be given a seven-gun salute. Jeno Elitumine is mostly remembered in the UPDF as the Jeno who fired the first bullet in the bush war that brought President Museveni's government in power. And according to reports, his body has been taken to Bombo military barracks where some of the UPDF ceremonies will be conducted. President Museveni yesterday said Jeno Elitumine was a hard-working cadre. And at the time of his death, Jeno Elitumine was still a member of the UPDF High Command. Tumine is also remembered as the Director General of Intelligence right here in Uganda. And finally, we expect his burial date to be communicated very soon by government. Otherwise, I'll be giving you all the details right here on the Buzz UG. Meanwhile, preparations to welcome General Elitumine's remains in his home, Kazo district, are underway. However, yesterday we received reports suggesting that the media has not been allowed to access his home. Yes, journalists have not yet been allowed into his home to record or take pictures as of yesterday. We don't know why, but maybe they want to first prepare the home very well before anything is put out to the public to see. Jeno Elitumine's friends from his home district have described him as a man who loved conserving the environment and he loved his country Uganda plus his profession as a military man. Adabada ayagara nyone environment conserving environment. Butonde bwansi ayagara abantu ba 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 basige emiti ate arumusaje ayagara nsi ye. Ate mirembe no jarwani le kinzinzi nyo kunsanyusa. Emirembe jarwani ra that's why UPDF respects civilians. However, a very big section of the public in Kazo district are so disappointed in Ugandans who are busy negatively talking about this big man and celebrating his death on different social media platforms. They said that it's very inhuman, according to the African culture, to speak bad things about the dead. Otherwise, someone who was brought up with good manners cannot be happy when the other dies. <laughs> We should respect each other and mostly we let them contribute a quarter of what he contributed. And then we can listen to them. Short of that, there are any other making noise group. Well, there you go. Those are some of the voices coming in from Kazo district where General Eli Tumwine is going to be laid to rest. Well, in other news... 
one of the Bush war survivors and former minister for general duties in the office of the Prime Minister, Major Al Haj Naduli, has pleaded to President Museveni to take seriously the recent advice on power transition and retirement given to him by General Eli Tumine. Well, Naduli, in a recent interview, said that as a person who understood General Eli Tumine very well, when he watched him on TV advising President Museveni to think about retirement and political power transition to the younger generation, he looked at his body and understood that he was giving advice from the bottom of his heart. Now, speaking about the people who are celebrating his death, Naduli said that General Eli Tumine might have made mistakes while executing his duties, but he shouldn't be sent off by celebrating his death, yet he put his life in danger to fight the then dictators Milton Obote and Idi Amin Dada. He advised the opposition that instead of criticizing the dead man, they should correct the mistakes and move on as a country. <music> Well, in other news, well, the Minister of Internal Affairs, Major General Kahinda Otafire, has pleaded with a section of Ugandans who are celebrating the death of General Eli Tumine to evaluate him objectively before drawing conclusions. While appearing in an interview on NTV yesterday, Minister Otafire said that some of the people who are pouring out their feelings on social media are those who got disappointed in his line of duty. <laughs> Well, finally, the Speaker of Parliament of Uganda, Right Honorable Anita Among, has met Pope Francis, the head of Catholic Church in Italy, at the Vatican. The Speaker said she was honored the Pope had invited her to the Vatican. Anita Among says Pope Francis promised to keep praying for her and sending her blessings. However, Pope Francis warned Anita Among against pushing for pieces of legislation that may drive Ugandans from the love and the will of God. He also advised her to keep defending the Christian values and assure that Parliament passes laws that promote people's freedom, such as that of worship, economic and social justice. Well, it should be remembered that this is not the first time for her to meet the Pope. Uh, last year in August, after the members of Parliament chose her as the Deputy Speaker, she visited Pope Francis for the very first time. <music> Well, there you go. That's the latest news that I have for you right here on The Buzz UG. And in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. Well, yesterday, many people commented on my stories and I'll make sure that I send my regards to the people that take time to comment on my stories right here on The Buzz UG as a sign of appreciating your presence right here. Now, Shakira Motesi, as usual, big up on yourself. Bale Soft, as usual, big fan right there, big up on yourself. Hash Grid, Hash Grid, big up on yourself, as usual. Uh, Ochan Michael, thank you so much for the support, big up on yourself. The Blacks, what's up, what's up, how you doing, big up on yourself. Zamzam Sebi, big up on yourself. Namudu Lydia, as well, did comment yesterday, big up on yourself. Mohammad Shaidi, big up on yourself. Angoma Jacqueline, how are you doing, big up on yourself. Uh, Adonga Stella is also a daily listener on the Buzz UG. Big up on yourself. Miley Peace, how are you doing, baby girl? Uh, she was also present yesterday. Big up on yourself. Uh, Douglas Diane, big up on yourself, bro. Akech uh, Flores, big up on yourself. Hey, you guys, you're very many, but I'll continue from there in my next stories. Otherwise, thanks for the support. I really, really appreciate. You can as well invite other people to come and be part of us right here on The Buzz UG. Well, my name is Melads Milo, a.k.a. Fuller, and uh, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. It's a bye for now. Thank you. Audio Jungle.